No matter how the format of the news changes, what remains is the need for high quality and objective coverage, trusted and influential journalists, and a Chinese media that continues to unite and inspire generations of Singaporeans, said Prime Minister Li Xinlong on Friday. Speaking at a gala dinner at the Shangri-La Singapore Hotel to mark the centennial celebrations of Lianhe Zabao, the flagship Chinese language daily of SPH Media Trust SMT. PM Lee said Zabao is well aware of the need to develop itself into an all-rounded multimedia news platform to retain its audience. However, no one knows how the media landscape or media consumption habits will change in the next decade and beyond. He said, The government is providing support to SPH Media Trust because we see the importance of having high-quality, authoritative and influential mainstream media. Henceforth, the government will continue to support Zaobao so that Singaporeans can continue to trust it as a source of news and information and stay relevant to their lives. PM Lee, who reads Zabao daily, highlighted three key aspects of it that makes it an authoritative Chinese media outlet, not just in Singapore, but also in Asia. First, Zabao has been a beacon of journalistic integrity. He said, particularly in today's digital age, it is Zabao's professional and quality reporting as well as its insightful analyses that continue to draw readers, despite competition from other new media. He said, adding that during the COVID-19 pandemic, Zabao kept readers informed of the latest and most accurate news, helping to fight the spread of fake news online. Second, as the main Chinese paper in Singapore, Zabao continues to play an important role in strengthening social cohesion and the Singaporean identity. It helps Singaporeans dissect and make better sense of complex issues. As well as domestic policies or external developments that may affect them. This helps to build national consensus, which is critical in keeping our society united, especially amid a more fractured information landscape. He said, Saobao also plays an integral role in enriching Singapore's diverse cultural heritage and promoting the unique Singaporean Chinese culture by organizing various educational and cultural activities. It also regularly invites overseas writers to Singapore to showcase Singaporean culture to the world. Third, it provides a unique Singaporean perspective on global issues and serves as a platform for diverse and rational viewpoints. For instance, when covering news on mainland China, Taiwan and Hong Kong, Sabao offers its own independent analyses and interprets these developments from Singapore's perspective, PM Lee said. In addition, Sabao publishes a wide range of perspectives from all over the world, including China and the United States, so that both local and foreign readers have more comprehensive information with which to analyze current affairs. PM Lee said that in today's international environment, where countries are not just trying to influence each other's people, but also attempting to sway them through their media, it is critical for Zaobao to maintain a clear editorial stance and have sufficient, independent content. This is so that it can continue to speak for Singapore and safeguard its interests. Saba must not be used by others to put out views that are detrimental to Singapore's interests or are not aligned with our national sentiment, he said. In a world where geopolitical tensions are rising, many media outlets, including Zaobao, are inevitably caught in the fray and accused of taking sides. Some say that Zaobao supports China's position, while others say that Zaobao leans towards the United States. He said, As a responsible Singaporean paper, Sabao must do all it can to avoid being influenced by others and to uphold its credibility. He added, I am heartened that Sabao has been unwavering in its principles and has remained independent and objective in its news reporting. That is the reason for its good reputation and standing.
Sabao was formed in 1983 through the merger of Nanyang Sheng Pao and Sing Chu Ji Po, which were founded in 1923 and 1929 respectively. The dinner was attended by 700 guests, including politicians, former leaders of Sabu and its predecessors, and some former and current staff. In her address, Ms. Li Hui Leng, editor-in-chief of SMT's Chinese Media Group, said that even as traditional media worldwide are grappling with unprecedented challenges, it is imperative that Sabao continues to uphold its credibility and provide balanced reporting and insightful commentary on global events. SMT, established in 2021, receives funding from the government to enhance its technological capabilities, strengthen vernacular media, and foster media talent. SMT Chairman Corbun Wan had warned about losing readers if it were to become a mouthpiece for the government or a political party. I can honestly say that the way the newsroom operates has not changed because of government funding. Our consensus with the government is that the loss of credibility of the mainstream media would be a significant setback for Singapore, said Miss Lee. She added that, going into Zabao's second century, we should extend our vision beyond Singapore to embrace the world stage, aspiring to establish ourselves as a highly valuable Chinese language media entity in the global landscape.